there's two main things people don't understand about swine flu. One, it's not as dangerous as people make it out to be. Two, they just don't understand the human immune system. And because of this, there's a lot of misunderstanding as to how the vaccine actually poisons you. So, let's explain number two. Here's a very brief synopsis on how the human immune system works. Let's say you get infected with a virus. It's got these things called antigens. Now, when this virus infects a cell, the antigens of the virus present on the cell. So there's like these little markers that tell you which cell has been infected with a virus. First step, a macrophage, which is like a big white blood cell, engulfs an infected cell with these antigens and begins to present the antigens on it. Next, a helper T cell begins to produce cytokines. These cytokines activate B cells to start producing antibodies. Antibodies attach to the infected cell's antigens and mark it for destruction, which is then performed by cytotoxic T cells. So why do people think that vaccines work? Well, according to this chart, the second response to an antigen is bigger than the first response. You can see that because the second blue hump is bigger than the first blue hump, and then there's a second uh, infection that they give as an example, which is the red hump, compared to the second blue hump. So how a virus works is that it injects an inactivated virus into your body, and then your body reacts to the antigens and goes through the first immune response so that the second time around, if you're actually infected, it's the second response that happens, and that means more antibodies faster. But where are the flu tests that say that people have actually had illness prevented by taking a vaccine, huh? Wait. In order to get the second round of immune response, they'd have had to be infected first, and then they measured the antibody count. So maybe that's... The... Oh... Vaccines work. Darn. I made this video because my first video, a lot of the comments seem to stem from a misunderstanding of how the human immune system actually works. And if you don't understand how the immune system works, then how are you supposed to understand how a vaccine works? So a vaccine injects a deactivated virus, so to speak, into the body, and then the body produces the antibodies for that particular virus without ever actually having the infection. It's never actually had a detrimental effect on health. So the next time when an actual virus infects the body, the antibody response is much quicker, much more effective, and the person doesn't get sick. Think about it.